I am Asian, actually. Oh. Yeah. Can we hug? Sure. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good. You need a hug. Thank you. Why, Nathan? We get along on a lot of different topics, but I felt that it was something where I could become a really good friend with you. Yeah, um, yeah. That's just kind of a gut feeling for me. Why are you lying, Nathan? Who, who are you lying to, Nathan? We all know the reason why. You're afraid she's gonna finish all your sandwiches. You're afraid you leave a leftover in the fridge and she's gonna come and finish that as well. You're afraid when you go on a cute date, she's gonna do one of those cute things when, where she takes food from your plate, but instead of taking one french fry, she's gonna take your whole plate. Now, I'm sure you've come across this video clip from your TikTok, from your Instagram, but have you watched the whole video? This is called Blindfolded People Go On Speed Dating. It is from the channel Cut with 12 million subs. A very entertaining channel. They have a shit ton of things like this. So definitely go and check them out. And today I picked this specific episode because everyone in this episode, they are being so nice to each other. They're being so, oh my God, it's not you, it's me. It's just like, that doesn't do it for me. You're such a nice person. But I am here to tell you straight to your face. I'm going to give you, I'm going to be the translator for this. A translator for the nice people saying nice things. Meanwhile, they mean some other things. So buckle up, get your popcorns, get your snacks. If you're already eating your food, I hope it tastes good. And get ready to let go of some gasps, gasps during this video after my translations. And there's a possibility this video is going to affect some of you. If you're going to get offended by this, remember, every time you get offended, go stand in the corner of your room, put your hands and head down and start crying. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm Milton. I'm Mia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Milton has a type. I have here thick, sassy sense of humor. Is there anything else you want to add to that checklist? That's about it. The I mean. So what are you for work? Uh, I'm a school bus driver. A oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was quick. Now I'm sure you understand how the game works. The second you say something that the other person gets the ick and goes ew. They give you the option to press the red button so you replace that person with another person. Now the reason she pressed that button, she basically told him to his face. Might as well told to, to his face that you're a piece of shit, you're a peasant, you, you have a worthless job, you're a worth, worthless person. Hey, I'm just translating here. She said that you're a peasant and you should look up to me and I should lo I look down on you. You do not deserve to be with someone like me. Blindfold okay. off and look at each other. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ask her, why did you reject me? Why did you? I just wasn't feeling the spark. Didn't feel like conversation was flowing, that's all. She basically said exactly what I said, but the nice version of it. Now, I kind of feel bad for the guy as well. He was like... <sighs> What do I do for a living? It sounds like it's just like a part-time thing he's gonna go through, then he's gonna come out of it. I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with bus drivers. You get to drive a big-ass bus and you get to tell the kids to sit the fuck down and tell them to shut up unless you're in the US or you're gonna have to fight with the school buses and you're gonna get arrested. You know the story. Now, she goes on with this other guy as well, but it's kind of kind of like boring. He says that he's like 10 years older than her. He has like two kids, then the kids were like... A deal breaker for her so she moves on because she's only 22 now the boys are gonna team up now the boys are gonna team up and they're gonna send her back to where she belongs because she's taking too long they want to see other women basically so they all held the bro code they hold hands power of friendship and they kicked her out now this asian guy is going to be the main event for the day he's gonna say some very nice things and i'll be here to translate it for you Fine. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Samantha. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing good. So, in terms of in terms of dating, what is something that is like an automatic deal breaker? I can be really chatty sometimes, and I've had a lot in my past where people will like, I'll talk about something and then I'll just cut me off. I need someone who will listen to me. Let me tell you exactly the reason why people cut her off, because she's fat straight up to your face. I'm not being uh, fat phobic. I'm just sharing the truth and opening your eyes. If she was some hot girl with a hot body or even like a skinny body, body, whatever, attractive face, everyone will be listening. But when a guy wants nothing to do with you and is not attracted to you at all, they are not going to be listening to you. What do you think when, when we go on a date, right? We want, we have one goal in our mind. Get in that vagina. Why do you think we sit through 
two to th three hours of gap yapping and be like hmm interesting so what else do you do and think we sit through the torture for one purpose and one purpose only now if you take away that one purpose there is no reason to sit and listen to their talk. That's one perspective. That's the perspective of a shakalaka boom boom. The other perspective is obviously, you know, you click, you have chemistry, you actually start dating each other because you like each other and you're attracted to each other. But this whole thing wouldn't have started if there's no physical attraction at the beginning. What is something that you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure that you don't tell anybody? Let me guess, wait. She watches anime. I mean, I watch a lot of anime. Holy shit, bro. I just guessed that out of my ass. Am I? Bro, I think I'm a sidekick. I watch Me too. a lot of Asian shows like Korean dramas. What is your type? Wait, let me guess again. She watches anime? She's wearing an Asian anime with pink hair? She's into Asian men. Really very into Asian men. Book your future reading with me in comment down below. What race do you think I am? I have no idea. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to make assumptions. You want to take a guess? I would say like maybe white to Asian, maybe? I am Asian, actually. Oh. Yeah. Can we hug? Sure. Now everything was going the same way she has dreamed in her journal, how the her love story, how her she's gonna find her husband, how they meet then they fall in love. It was gonna go. Until the second he said, Can we hug? That is when all of her dreams were crushed because she knew exactly what was going to happen. Okay. How are you? Good. <laughs> you need a hug. <coughs> Bye, Nathan. We get along on a lot of different topics, but I felt that it was something where I could become a really good friend with you. Yeah, um, yeah. That's just kind of a gut feeling for me. No, that's totally, totally valid, yeah. yeah. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we all know the reason why he said no. And I, like I said again, there's nothing wrong with having standards him an asian model he's a model by the way right good looking guy he has standards maybe he wants a fit girl maybe he wants a you know his type whatever it is totally understandable me and you watching this we want like a hot fit uh a big booty latina girl uh, look at me and you faces and look at his face and we want this imagine what he wants so the situation is really understandable and i think the girl knows as well and she knows the reason for it she's probably gonna go, gonna go stress eat after this and just i hope i try to look actually for her to see if she actually improved and i bet you i can guarantee you the second she starts losing weight she will become happier mentally physically and she the guys are not going to be cutting her off anymore and they will not be pressing red buttons on her now if you're a guy version of her you're gonna have a harder time than her because she's still a girl at like 3 4 a.m some guys will be like fuck it let's go and the best solution in this doesn't matter if you're they're physically attracted to you or not the best solution is to build up your bank guys money speaks in 2024 yes physical attraction is important but money even speaks louder than physical attraction i'm just saying you're a guy you want to get some you are fat you are not you're ugly Get your money up. You're gonna pull more than all of us in the world. And probably die at the age of like 30 something. But hey, at least you didn't die a virgin. I can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. Bye, Sam. Goodbye. I feel so bad. Yeah, you should feel bad, Nathan. My name's Rhea. Okay, my name's yeah. Donovan. What is your type? Look-wise, my type has been all over the board. I definitely love people who are like athletic and into the gym. I love like manly men who can like, you know, <laughs> let me feel more relaxed and like... So protective. That's just my type. Yeah, yeah, I do work out and everything, so it's just part of my regimen. I do everything. Let her feel your arms. <laughs> <laughs> I hear my okay, arms where, out. Okay, where are your arms? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you seem strong. Okay. Are you two <laughs> connecting? I mean, she's already had already my arms and my I've chest. I've already, like, I feel like I basically already know you. <laughs> Blindfolds off in three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're not what I expected you to be, really? honestly. <laughs> yeah. Are you two gonna go on a second date? I'm so sorry. <laughs> now this game I want to point out is the ultimate insecurity builder. You don't have an insecurity, by the end of this show, you are going to have one. <laughs> 
the way they plan it, the timings on everything like this. And imagine like a person says, uh, no. I mean, when you send a DM to a girl on Instagram, they don't respond. Your ego gets hurt. You're like, fuck, I got rejected. Or you go, you talk to a person and they don't talk to you back, fine. But when they put a red button in, in the middle of the your table, that's when shit gets serious. Honestly, I want to see the behind the scenes because obviously there's some people who come and they give a different reaction after they get rejected fuck you well i can do better than you you're lost but they're only gonna put the professional ones over here and everyone's just being so nice about the whole thing anyways the show just ends with these two clicking it off anyways i just wanted to make a video about this i just thought it would be interesting and if you're still eating your food you still haven't finished it yet there's still two more videos for you to watch just click it with your nose if your hands are full take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one